All right, next up, another good one in the uh, Mountain West, UNLV. How about the Rebels this year? Rebels, the season under Barry Odom. Have, have they finally hit the jackpot with one of these coaching hires? It, it's looking like maybe they have with uh, Barry Odom, who's done a nice job here. Uh, we've got uh, – you. it's a good matchup here. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Fresno, nine-point home favorites, 57 and a half, 58 the total. All respect in the world here to UNLV. Uh, outstanding what they've been able to do. Six and one straight up, six and one against the spread. It was actually finally their first – non-cover last week against Colorado State as they survive and win 25-23 uh, in that game. But this has been, obviously, this is an improved team. There's no question. Uh, uh, Jaden Mayava is pretty solid at quarterback for them. Vincent Davis Jr., uh, Donovan Lester running the ball. Um, you know, they're an improved uh, team offensively. Defense has come a long way as well. No question. Their defense, I think, week by week, it's gotten better. Uh, for UNLV. But before we get too over the top with praise for UNLV and the upward trajectory of the program and the job Barry Odom's doing, you played Vanderbilt, UTEP, Hawaii, Nevada, Colorado State, you know, the last five games. That's that's the sisters of the poor run of opponents right there for UNLV. And this is pretty big step up as far as certainly Mountain West opponents go compared to what they have seen so far uh, against this Fresno State team. And certainly it's going to test their defense in particular uh, because the Fresno State offense certainly capable uh, of moving the football. Uh, you look at Fresno State here, it's going to be interesting to see who's at quarterback. Uh, it's been, of course, for the last uh, few uh, games, last couple games at least, been uh, Logan Fife. Uh, Mikey Keene, of course, didn't play last week against uh, Utah State. We'll see if he's able to return for this game. Following a bye week, by the way, for Fresno State, they are off a bye week. Uh, for this game. We'll see if Mikey Keene's able to return. Um, gosh, it's you're getting nine and a half, and this team's covered six of, the, of seven uh, this year. And Fresno, the last two games, they lost at Wyoming as favorites. They lost outright, or they actually, they beat Utah State, but they didn't cover as favorites 37-32 last week. And then, of course, the week before that against Nevada, they won 27-9, didn't cover that game. They have failed to cover three straight, Fresno. But do you trust UNLV? even getting these amount of points because this is a big, bigger, much bigger challenge as far as quality of opponent than what they've seen uh, the last a few weeks. And they got to go on the road and face a team that's coming off a of bye week. Fred, UNLV has been competitive with Fresno last two years. Fresno won both games, but the margins were eight points or less. The margin of victory in both games. I actually lean Rebels here, and I'm willing to – Willing to buy in and willing to say, you know what, even though this is a step up for UNLV and Fresno's off a of bye, especially if Logan Fife's at quarterback as opposed to Keen, yeah. I'm, I'd be more willing to take a shot here that UNLV can hang in this game just like they have the last two years against Fresno State. What do you think, Connor? I think the quarterback's big, yeah, whether Keen's in or not. I, I, if he's out, Keen is enough Fife. No doubt. Yeah. 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 He's all right, but I, yeah, Mikey Keen's out. I like the Rebels even more. I really was like, man, if I could just get over 10, 10 and a half, would really like UNLV because they have played them close the last few years. And my this whole team's just turning around. Special teams, the defense is starting to look a little bit better. Now they can still give up some points, but they've been able to get turnovers. And Mayava, that kid, I mean, he's the biggest recruit coming out of – he went back to Hawaii, then came back here and went to Liberty. But, you know, biggest recruit over three-star quarterback UNLV's ever had. Uh, and he's playing unreal. So I want the better quarterback, especially if Mikey Keene's not playing. Give me the Rebels here, even on the road. Rebels. I think they cover the number. Yeah, it's hard to pass up these points. I, even I was, I thought for sure, now nah, this is the week, definitely we got to fade UNLV. But then I saw the number. I see the quarterback stitch. I see that last two years they played Fresno tough. Yeah. Last week was yeah. to fade him. I'm starting to think against Colorado State, and it didn't work out. And I think they could have beat him any other game. But they're just starting to lay the number. Because I even thought that against Re Nevada, but Nevada's that bad, yeah. and they were able to win there. But we'll see once they get back home and, start, and they're laying more than the touchdown or two touchdowns. Um, but, yeah, catching points like this, I think you got to be on them. Yeah, my author's actually given them some pop offensively. And you know what? Fresno defense kind of last couple weeks not nearly as good. But I'd lean over, and I'd really like the over if we get Keen back on the field at quarterback here for uh, Fresno State in this game.